why people never get better at disc golf, how to avoid it, and why I think if you're watching this video, you could be a top pro someday. So I think there's two main reasons why I think people don't get better at disc golf. The first one is they listen to negativity either from themselves or other people, and they agree with it. So there's going to be people at your local events who say, oh, you can't do this or that. Or maybe big German Jomez is gonna say, oh, you people at home can't make this shot, there's no way. And you have to take what they say and make it a challenge for yourself. These are extra things you're gonna be working on during your practice so you can shut them up next time they say something and then there's the internal battle with yourself when you're overthinking things and you're saying oh there's no way I can do this my you know my skill set isn't set up for this you have to convince yourself that you're the greatest player in the world whatever situation you come across that you're the best possible person for the situation. I know a lot of people in disc golf, they're like, oh, if I had a 30 foot putt, I would have X, Y, and Z make the putt. But you have to tell yourself that you're the greatest player in the world and whatever situation there is on the course, you don't want anyone else to throw it other than you. Let's be honest, no one else is going to throw that shot for you. And by telling yourself you're the greatest player in the world and actually believing it and having this confidence is going to make you shoot better, especially if you put in the practice and made your skill set better. Now the second reason why people don't get better at disc golf is because they do the same exact things over and over and over and over again and expect a different result. Whether it's poor disc selection, whether it's a bad form for sidearm, bad form for backhand. A lot of people will do the exact same things forever, never change anything, have a lot of fun playing disc golf but they're very competitive and they're not sure why they're not pro yet or whatever. They've been playing for about 10 to 15 years now. They're still AM2. These are the types of people who do not change their form, do not make little changes, do not try different things, and they never improve. And the reason is because they think they're good enough and they think if they keep playing, they're gonna get better. But the truth is sometimes you do have to sit down and make some changes, even if it's not comfortable at first. I think if you're trying to make little changes and trying to get better, the only possible result is that over time, your skill level is going to increase. And by not practicing and not trying to get better, the only thing that can happen is that your skill level is gonna go down the drain. The second part of this video, why I think you could be a top pro, this has to go into the actual physical training of disc golf. And let me just say, just avoid disc golf strong in general. I'm sure they do some good stuff for like the rotator cuff, but when I see Ricky Wysocki doing this workout that I would have like a senior citizen do to develop core strength, and this is not just like some pre-round exercise, whatever, stretching and whatnot. This is his like off the course, this is his workout. And the worst part is Ricky is probably paying these people to tell him to do these workouts, and I'm sure they have certifications and whatnot, but honestly, if you guys wanna be way ahead of the curve in terms of training, and being a pro disc golfer, just learn how to do front squats and do front squats every day. Now you might have to do some accessory work in there eventually, like some rear delt work, some trap work, some forearm work, some grip work, some calf work, whatever it may be. But honestly, doing front squats every day, even if it's not that heavy, and doing them properly and going past parallel, and teaching your body how to brace, how to use that core, how to get in this position, how to be more upright, is gonna be miles better than what they're having the disc golf pros do now. I'm actually surprised there's no company out there right now making discs that are solely for training and not to use on the course. So there'd be like a 12 speed disc and it's 500 grams, right? You're working on your arm speed, you're working on your distance. On the disc it says, you know, not intended for PDGA play, not PDGA approved. And it's really just for working on your arm speed and throwing farther. I'm surprised that's not out there. And that's the main reason why I think if you're watching this video, you're going to be ahead of the curve. You're going to start looking into Olympic weightlifting. You're going to start doing some of those movements. And you're going to be way stronger and way more fit than 99.9% .9 of the disc golf pros out there. And you're probably going to be one of the next pros. Anyways, guys, this is a short video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.